Good morning. So I've been doing a lot of thinking about what direction I want to go with my online business. And it's occurred to me that, you know, they, they say, you know, look at your strengths, look at um, that little niche, right? That specific so that if you're too generalized, um, you're not really attracting your true people. And for a while, I thought it was people in recovery or women in recovery in particular. Um, and as much as, because that's what I do, for, ooh, that's ambulance. As much as I love that, that's what I do for work, right? I, I'm going to school to be a therapist. I work in the field of um, substance use disorder as well as mental health. Again, I love it. And then I started realizing one of the things that I'm really good at is groups. Um, I've been told this. I feel like when I do groups, I just, I don't know, I just feels like my, my jam. And, and so on top of that, being a woman in recovery, working in the field, I've had to learn to do some um, skills to help me from burning out, right? So with all that together, I started thinking maybe my niche is helping people that work in this field, particularly people that are in recovery, um, helping them with different techniques that I use to get the clients engaged in group, um, group topics that really um, get clients thinking and, you know, participating and, and growing because that's, that's the thing, right? We want them to be able to utilize some skills and help them in their process, in their recovery, um, as well as self-care for my, you know, for me and being able to juggle my recovery, um, the the you know the tough work that I do, and and in my particular case, going to school, right? How do I juggle all that along with family and and just life? Um, so I think that is what is really calling to me, at least right now. So my videos thus far have been. Um, helping people in recovery stay motivated and all this and it's great stuff and I hope you enjoyed it um, but I think going forward I'm really going to focus on individuals that work in the field of substance abuse mental health wh wherever you're at in that right so whether you're you know working on harm reduction if you're an outreach worker if you're dealing with groups, whatever it is, it's all really challenging work. And so um, I think I want to, um, you know, talk about my experience with, with that, what helps me, and um, also, you know, being in recovery, what helps me maintain my recovery and separating what I do, right? Because what I do is not my recovery, although I do help people. So it can get really uh, murky. Um, so yeah, differentiating between that two, and then just keeping a clear mind, helping you know um, prevent burnout from from that. Um, so I'm going to be coming out with some uh, resources and some tools, you know, worksheets and different things to help people that want to do groups. I'll be chatting more about self care, staying motivated. Uh, preventing burnout and all that for people that work in the field of substance use and um, abuse and um, mental health. As always, you know, stay blessed. Um, remember to hug the people, let the people that you know, let the, let the people that you love know that you love them. Send them that text, give them a call, give them a great big hug every chance you get. Live your life gratefully, live your life mindfully, live your life with gratitude. And until next time, guys, please stay blessed. Peace.